Christmas and New Year are over for another year and 2022 is underway. I really hope you all had a lovely time with your family and friends. Sea of Thieves Season 6 is now about 10 weeks away according to the in-game page and so I thought now might be a good time to discuss everything we know so far about what's to come in Sea of Thieves Season 6 and beyond and talk about the possibility of something happening before Season 6. Hello Pirates, my name is Ellie and I post regular Sea of Thieves content on this channel. If you want to stay up to date with the game then remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I put up a new video. Let's get into it shall we? In my opinion, the content for Season 6 is going to be the setup for the continuation of the Flameheart story. Not actually the continuation, but a setup of sorts, a prelude to even bigger things likely coming in Season 7 or later. Due to the pandemic and the Disney collaboration, the Flameheart story has taken a bit of a back seat, and I think I can speak for all of us when I say we're tired of that floating head in the sky still being there with the same lines and the same issues since he arrived in the skies on Sea of Thieves as a world event. I think we all hoped the final tall tale in Pirate's Life update would replace Flameheart's world event, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. I feel like the Flameheart story and the hints we've had from the devs about what's to come in the future of Sea of Thieves are almost too big for just one season. It's highly likely that the stories will be spread over several seasons, likely spanning over a year. So what will happen first? There are a lot of things that are now pointing to a potential new world event around Golden Sands Outpost. In my video in December about the Orb, Flameheart Jr and the Servant of the Flame, I talked about how I thought Golden Sands would be the centre of things to come. There are now many things that lead me to believe that this next season might bring more than just a new world event. There is part of me that believes that the update could bring more changes to the Sea of Thieves in a way of map adjustments and faction updates. Obviously this is all speculation and we can't be sure what's going to happen, not even us insiders know. However, to me, there have been several clear hints that that something is going to change on the Sea of Thieves and I think it's likely that season 6 will bring those changes. I want to mention a map that was shared by the Sea of Thieves devs way back in September. Right after the in-game event where you had to collect all those gems, the Sea of Thieves social channels posted this map with several different areas of colour on it. They specifically mentioned factions homing in on sounds coming from the deep and when you sail around the seas at the moment you do occasionally hear strange music on the edges of these areas and they're sounds which aren't usually there and aren't triggered by any current in-game events. On the map you can clearly see different territories and each territory seems to depict a different faction. Of particular interest here is the red section depicting the Reapers faction which is covering the shores of Plenty and Golden Sands Outpost. In his words spoken through the orb, Flameheart Jr mentions the Sands of Gold being shrouded. I wonder if they mean that the Reapers faction will take over the shores of Plenty area and it will have the same shroud that's currently over Reapers hideout. I'm not sure how I feel about that to be honest. I would hope that they don't make it shrouded like it is at Reapers hideout but make it so it's clearly a Reapers area. Either way, I'm excited to see how it plays out. I really do think we will see an expansion to the Reapers faction and hideout. I'm really hoping for the trap door to open and be a way down into a Reapers version of the Athena's Fortune style hideout. Another thing to note about this map is the other factions and that there is clearly a very large section over the wilds which is shown as Hunter's Call. I really hope this means an update to the Hunter's Call faction in the near future. It's desperately needed and I think a lot of people are keen for new ocean enemies to fight like the Meg and the Kraken. Of course, if there was to be a Reapers hideout expansion, they would would have to update the Athena's faction hideout as well, and I believe there's the potential for this to happen for sure. We all know about the famous captaincy update and the rumours that it's on its way this year, but I don't know that they'd cram all that into just one season, so personally I think any major system updates to the way Athena's works will be held off for a later season, maybe even as far down the road as season 8. There are also the changes that occurred on Thieves Haven to consider. Maybe the new Athena's fortune hideout will be on Thieves Haven. We know that Thieves Haven was supposedly the first island that the Pirate Lord came across upon reaching the Sea of Thieves, so maybe it will play a bigger role story-wise. Who knows? I do feel like something weird is happening though, with Reaper's hideout in the middle and then all this focus on Golden Sands, and then we know that the Athena's update is likely on its way. So Thieves Haven changes? I know there were changes to other islands as well, but the Thieves Haven one had people more excited. There was a lot more that changed there. I really do feel like the content for Season 6 will focus on lining up all the pieces for a great battle between the Athena's Fortune faction and the Flameheart or Reaper's faction. You also have to take into account the Disney storylines and how that was left after the Pirate's Life update. The Dark Brethren are likely going to play a role in the story points of Season 6. I mean, they've already been mentioned in the Orb Flameheart Junior teasers, but I doubt they will feature in any significant way like with a tall tale or what have you. I think that will be saved for future seasons. The Dark Brethren obviously play a role in the Flameheart story. I believe we'll learn more about the captain who's in charge of the Dark Brethren. There's definitely the potential for the two story arcs to continue together. In the first of the Pirate's Life tall tales, it's mentioned that Jack Sparrow made 
made a promise to someone, and some lore experts are suggesting that this could be Belle of the Deep. Calypso mentions that Jack promised her, so it could be that they are talking about Belle of the Deep. We also know from the Orb teasers that Belle of the Deep is going to feature in the story soon too. She was seen in the tavern on the livestream, and Flameheart Jr. mentions she of the Deep. The Disney storyline and the Flameheart storyline are very closely linked together, and I think intentionally. When Rare decided to collaborate with Disney, they obviously wanted to ensure that their character storylines were preserved, and I believe the continuation of both stories at the same time could very well be how they do that. So something before season six? Obviously, I think we'd all prefer to focus on Flameheart for a while before any more Jack Sparrow appearances, even just to get his stupid face out of the sky for a while, but could there be something coming before season six? With ten weeks to go, it does feel like an awfully long time before anything is going to happen. Happen. I know they will likely bolster this long gap with in-game events and stuff, but it just feels like a very long time for nothing to be happening on the seas. We've had droughts before, but I don't recall one this long. They also dropped the teasers to Flameheart lore very early, which to me suggests, and I said this in my previous video, that something could be coming before season six. Whether that's a new in-game world event, perhaps around Golden Sands, or even just a small update with some lore tidbits, I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you think there's going to be something coming before season six? Let me know down in the comments. All in all, I feel season six will be a content heavy season but I do feel like it will be light compared with what's to come even further down the line. I can't wait to see what they do with the Reapers faction and how the Flameheart story will continue. It's long overdue at this point. If you like the video then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Sea of Thieves content. We've also got a community discord set up for fellow Sea of Thieves enthusiasts. If you'd like to get involved then you can find a link to join in the comments. I also stream on Twitch three nights a week. If you want to know when I go live then just head over to twitch.tv forward slash Ellie and hit the follow button. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the seas.